These are puzzles ranging from level 1 to 100. And I'm about to solve all of them. Or at least try. Starting at level 1. The magic ship. Now you might notice this is not your average jigsaw puzzle. In fact, it's not even the same thing. The goal, open the box. Time to complete 15 minutes. You see, all the puzzles in this video are puzzle boxes. Think of it more like a handheld escape room. If this takes me more than 10 minutes, we're... <laughs> This is gonna be a rough video. Start the timer. Now throughout this video, I have three lives. And if I fail to solve a puzzle within the time limit, I lose a life. And if I lose all three, the video ends. Clearly this has to open, but how? The reason these are so difficult to solve is because anything can be used to open them. There's just something holding this in place. Whether it's literally something the puzzle gives you, oh! or even as weird as spinning the puzzle, anything might come into play. That was it. Now this one might've been easy. And inside we got a nice silica gel. That's some hidden treasure right there. But as these progress, they get much more difficult. Which brings us to level 10. The cast box. This one's probably not gonna be so easy. Level 10, the goal, free the ring. Time limit, 20 minutes. Start the time. Considering it says start, I'm gonna assume I have to do this side first. See how the notch is on the wrong side? I think I have to turn it around so that it can go through that hole. So I just started trying random things to see if I could make anything happen. Oh, hold up. Okay, so it can wrap around and it almost goes through that. That doesn't do anything for me though. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I did something. I like this. Yes, yes! I didn't even realize I did it. It just happened. 10 minutes. That's crazy. Hey, I deserve that one. Moving on to level 20. Magic dust. I feel pretty confident right now. I think I'm doing pretty well. Level 20, the goal, free the marble. Time limit, 25 minutes. Here goes nothing. Now this one's pretty simple. All you have to do is tilt the dice and use the tracks inside to get the marble out. Clearly the one is a little bit bigger than the rest of them. What if I just... I don't think that's working. But fairly quickly, I was able to find the correct path. <gasps> there we go. We got it. I did in under half the time. Yo! Next up, level 30. May secret puzzle box block number two. You're probably wondering, Abby, why didn't you get lock box number one? I don't know, this, this one just looked cool. Level 30, the goal, open the box. Time limit, 30 minutes. The description says it only takes two moves. And then it says, how bad could it be? I felt good up until now. I seriously don't even see a way for anything to move. What piece even comes off of this thing? Maybe the logo, like press on the logo. Oh, am I breaking it? No, that's gotta be part of the puzzle, right? Oh. I guess I'm just a genius, like what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda killing it right now, but maybe that's partly due to my early fascination with these puzzles as a kid. Okay, maybe not that young. I wasn't like a super genius. Also, check out this snowman I built. Anyway, point being, today means a lot to me. Not only am I trying to beat this game, but I'm also trying to prove to my younger self that we could do it. And this is where things start to get real. Blue snake cube. The goal, solve the cube. Time limit, two hours. There we go. Is it like a Rubik's cube? I can feel stuff wants to move. What in the world? What is this? I guess we just work our way from one end to the other, right? Up until now, I've had great success with these puzzles, but I was riding that high a little bit too much. I feel like I'm close. These two pieces clearly are gonna fit there because I quickly realized this was gonna be harder than I thought. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get it. And I'm back to literally having no progress. 37 minutes in, I've literally done nothing. All the pieces in this cube are connected by one piece of rope, meaning each piece has to perfectly be bent into shape to form the cube. <sighs> I can't lose a life this early, dude. I'm gonna be screwed. But no matter what I tried on this puzzle, I just kept going back to square one. I've been doing this so long that the paint is rubbing off of the puzzle. Why doesn't it make sense? Yeah, and maybe I was getting just a little bit frustrated. I don't know if this thing goes past 99 minutes. Two, one, my timer maxed out. If this timer hits 20 minutes, I lose. And before I knew it, can I just call that it? And I'm out of time.
I kind of regret doing that. Feeling extremely defeated, I had no choice but to carry on to a more difficult puzzle, level 50. The Fan Puzzle. I don't know how to show you this, but this thing must weigh at least five pounds. I'm not even kidding. Wait. Level 50. The goal, take it apart and put it back together. Time limit, two and a half hours. Oh, what? That's crazy. Look at this. Oh, well, I took it apart. There's no way putting these three things back together is going to take me two hours. I refuse to believe that. You must have to put them in at the same time or something. Right. I think all the pieces are the exact same. Clearly, I have to think outside the box on this one. I was kind of just trying everything to try and figure out anything that might actually help me. But trying the same thing over and over again was just making me frustrated. Yo, that was crazy! <laughs> Maybe the vibrations of my voice will put it together. throw this thing at a wall and that's really bad because if I actually throw this at a wall I think it'll go through it because it weighs so much I think I'm gonna cause a problem and my landlord's gonna come after me I mean like it's close it's it is close so you slide it apart slowly oh <laughs> yes! did I get lucky maybe but either way we're on to level 60 Jailbreak. The goal, free the ring. Time limit, four hours. I don't know how this would take four hours, but we just have to get that ring out of there. If you look right in there, there's metal balls. No idea why. I really don't even know where to begin with this. And in the blink of an eye, it had already been 30 minutes. I don't know what's going on with this puzzle. And honestly, I had no clue what to do. I tried unscrewing things, spinning it, but then... It feels like something's blocking it from coming out. Do you see that? In, there is. There's a ball in the thing. What did I even do to solve it? Well, level 70. Dragon in a cage. Look at this little guy. This can't be that hard. The goal, free the dino. Time limit, four hours. Don't worry, little guy. You'll be out soon enough. Are any of these bigger than others? Oh, maybe, am I dreaming? This gap looks a little bit bigger. I'm gonna try and get it out of that gap. All right, let's go tail first, buddy. Figuring out the bars this early was an absolute miracle. In fact, that's the only way to solve the puzzle. However, I completely brushed it off because I thought that I was imagining things. How do we get you out, buddy? I realized I was starting to get extremely tired. Oh, I'm done for the day. I can't. I can't do it. So I decided to call it quits for the day and come back again with a fresh mind in the morning. For day two. The worst part is that this probably isn't the last day. Three hours and 30 minutes left to solve this puzzle. How do you get the second leg out? It just doesn't make sense. Do you hear that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was hungry. I got a coffee and a mystery bag of goodness. Are you kidding me? How is that an achievement? Oh my god. What do you want from me? What do you, like, what do you- I enjoyed myself a nice breakfast. Today is gonna be a good day. Oh, man. Alright, let's solve this thing. Then it was back to trying to solve these puzzles. Dude, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. To make no progress over the course of literal hours is driving me nuts.
Oh, hold up. I almost have his entire half out. If I can get his head past this bar, he's out. Let's freaking go. That man is a free man right there. America. Now that we saved Rexy, it was on to level 80. The damn our puzzle. The goal, open the lock. Time limit, four and a half hours. Let's get started. Right away, I think it's pretty obvious what we, uh, what's a little unique about this one is, uh, there's a key split in half on a key ring. Taking it off the lock. What in the world am I supposed to do with this knowledge? My immediate thought was to use the broken key to try and open the lock, which after taking it off the key ring. Hey, what happens if I just put this key on top? And using the other half of the key to try and push it in. Oh, 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 it's twisted. Uh oh. Oh. There's no way I just solved the level 80 puzzle in 15 minutes. I refuse to believe that this is solved. I'm not getting excited yet. Yeah, it's not. The new goal, fix the lock by putting it all back to how it originally was. So I have to get this thing to look exactly how it was when it started? That means I need to get that key piece out of the hole. Wow. So relatable. Relatable king. Let's try and figure this out. What do I have? I have a key ring. I have a half a lock. The other half of the lock. I have half a key. And I have a key. What can I do with these objects? No matter what I did, I just couldn't figure out the next step. But little did I know, it was sitting right in front of me the entire time. Oh, it unscrews. Then I looked for a way to use the pin to try and complete the next move. Oh, can it go in here? Oh, it can go in here. See this little hole? It doesn't. Oh, there we go. Now it's in there. Oh, we got the back end of the key out. Wait, is that it? Did I solve it? Oh, we're not done yet. Let me show you why we have it. The goal of the puzzle is simply to get it back to how it originally started. This key turns, right? This key can unlock it, which you can then put this on and then relock it. But then, this is locked, so this key can't get onto this loop. So I'm missing something that's allowing me to get both keys on that loop without one getting stuck in the lock. I knew the only thing I hadn't used was the remaining intact key. So I knew it had to be that. Okay, it's weird that this key can go in both ways. That's the one thing I've noticed that's weird. What's up with that? It must be one more step, but I just can't figure out what I'm missing. But the one thing I still couldn't explain was the pins. What, what do those mean? So my immediate thought was maybe they had something to do with the alignment of the key. But even though I was actually close to the solution, I just could not put it together. That was until... Is it like a different height so the teeth line up? Whoa, 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 why'd that feel different? I swear that turned a little bit more. Am I tripping? Am I losing it now because I'm just like delusional? I swear that turned just... No. Oh my god. And that brings us to level 90. The Excalibur. The goal, free the sword. Time limit, five hours. Your boy is now sick. Can't breathe. And my head feels like there's a cloud in it. So I, this should be really interesting. Considering I might be sitting here for five hours, we should probably get started. Here goes nothing. The sword seems like it's just in this middle block. So I'm assuming the way to solve this is just move these blocks around and just try and find the combination where this middle piece can be removed. Sounds simple. I have a feeling it's not gonna be. The pieces are in the shape of like right angles so that they fit in one another. You can see it in there. So to start, my plan was essentially just to slide the blocks around until something happened. And the first thing that happened is the sword actually dropped down. You can see where it's poking out of the bottom. However, that didn't really give me much information, and not much was happening. I don't know what's happening with this puzzle. Yeah, being sick and having it be the third day in a row doing this, the last thing I wanted to do was work on this puzzle. And unfortunately, I'm literally getting nowhere. I think I've made the same moves over and over again pretty much this entire time. Three, two, one. Hey! First hundred minutes is gone. Okay, seriously, what do I do? What do I, how do I solve this? Yeah, not only was I bored because I wasn't making progress, the sickness was also literally getting to my head. It almost looks like this piece might come out. They wouldn't expect you to put that much pressure into getting a piece out. Although I did have to put quite a bit of pressure on the dinosaur, so... 
Maybe. Yeah, eventually I just didn't feel like trying anymore. Which inevitably, I ended up ordering food. A timer. Oh man, that's a bummer. It maxed out again. Oh, well, I guess we only have 100 minutes remaining. Oh no, shoot. And after I ate, I knew I eventually would have to go back to trying to solve this puzzle that felt like it was just not going absolute. Yeah, that didn't last very long, but my nap did. I don't know what happened, but I guess I'm out of time. Whoops. Well, with only one life remaining, that brings us to the final level, 100. The Lotus Flower. The goal, discover the lotus. Time limit, six hours. We have six hours to solve this puzzle. We have this wheel in the middle, which spins. This pin, which slides. And we have a gap here, and it looks like that's gonna slide off eventually. And there's something to screw in up here. We got a thread, and that is it. Let's make something happen. So I started off like any other puzzle. Just try and learn anything I could about it. Ooh, I figured something out. Basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of pressure on this, on the ring. Something's going on here. When I pull it out, it's gonna make a little click. Right there. Oh. Let's go! And after the first step, it didn't take me much longer to figure out the second step, but somewhat accidentally. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, so, yep, yep, that's what I thought. Okay, this comes out of here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of little pieces. Okay, it's gonna get dangerous. And then there's something in here. What in the world? All right, so we have another little pin. This screws into there. Does that do anything? Doesn't, that did nothing for me. Okay, so that's nice. And after trying a couple things with the little pin, I decided to put it in the hole below the screw because I noticed it fit perfectly in there. So, I mean, just common sense. It's gotta be something to do with this pin. But after that did nothing, I kind of got stumped. I tried using techniques from the previous puzzles, but nothing was really working. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm confused now. I don't know what to do anymore. We made, we did the first couple. Oh. Whoa, this part just slid out. What? What? Okay, so now I have a coin, but that doesn't really have anything to do with the Lotus. So as cool as the discovery was, I knew I had to push on. And before I actually fully slid it open, I noticed that it could slide both ways. I just chose the direction. So that had me thinking, how do I get it open again to push it the other way? Can I do the same thing and spin it the other way? And I was convinced the only way that would be able to happen was by spinning it. First reset of the timer. 260 minutes remaining. How? I don't know. I guess it just moved some sort of latch or something. <laughs> I was just convinced. Not to mention this noise, which was driving me absolutely insane. But just then, something happened. Oh. Oh my gosh, I've been spinning this thing for the past like hour and a half. Do you hear that?